So in this unit, we are uh, getting away from fractions and looking at numbers, but not just any numbers, but what we call multi-digit numbers, which really means just long numbers. But we're also looking at decimal numbers as well. So what we're going to do in this lesson is make sure you know how to read a large number like that and how to uh, write it. And then we're also going to look at how to uh, estimate when you add um, or subtract multi-digit numbers. And estimation is important because you want to be able to do that so that when you actually do add or subtract these numbers, uh, you want to have an idea if you got the right answer or not. So estimating what you think it's going to look like will help you know if you did it correctly or not. All right, so let's take a look at some examples. I'm going to read this very long number to you. And this chart helps you place the digits in the right place and helps you read this number as well. So this number would be written as 382 billion, 903 million, 765,000, 14, and here's the tricky part, 104 thousandths. Let me say this again. 382 billion, notice we have a comma, 903 million, comma, 765,000, comma, 14, point, 104 thousandths. All right. So you're going to use a chart like this to uh, try this with some written numbers. So I'm going to use this chart to help write the following numbers as digits. You're going to write uh, these digits with commas and decimal points in the correct places. And again, use this chart to help you out. And I'm going to have you uh, pause the video, write what you think the answers are, and then you can check um, when you think you've uh, finished. So some of those are a little tricky, um, so take a look at them and make sure you understand why, which digits go in which place. So now we're going to move on to the estimating part of this. So let's take a look at this first example. We have um, 4.907 plus 10.08. So let's take a look at the 4.907 and I think that's really very close to 5. So I'm going to call that a 5. And then 10.08 is really close to 10. So I'm going to call that a 10. And my estimate for this is 15. So again, I'm trying to find the nearest whole number for each number and just get an estimate. And, you know, the estimates may not be the same with some certain situations. So 
um, they should be close, but uh, but you may see it a little bit differently and um, want to uh, go a different direction. But I'm going to show you uh, some slides, and you're going to have about five seconds to look at them, and then you're going to write down your estimate uh, on this page on your packet, and then we will see how you did. All right, are you ready to go? Here is the first one. 10.21 plus 19.87. A hundred and ninety eight plus a hundred and twelve. Seven point eight eight plus twelve point one three. And finally, 48.11 plus 53.02. All right, you could go back and check those out if you want, and uh, make sure you write down your answers. And let's see how you did. So you can see what I did um, in that first one, 10.21 is kind of close to 10, 98.87 is kind of close to 20, so I got 30 for that one, 198 is close to 200, 112 is a little closer to 100, so I added them to get 300. For number 3, 7.88 is close to 8, 12.13 is kind of close to 12, so I added those to get 20, and then for the last one, 48.11 is kind of close to 50. And 53 is kind of close to 50, so I estimated that to be around 100. And again, your answers might be a little bit different, but they should be uh, something close to that. So take a look at those. Make sure you understood how I got my answers. And that's what I wanted to talk about in this lesson. Uh, naming multi-digit numbers and estimating uh, some addition and maybe subtraction problems. All right, so let's do a quick summary problem. I want you to uh, take a couple minutes and answer these questions, and then we will see how you uh, do with these. So pause the video and uh, do these problems, then start it again and see what the answers are. Okay, are you ready for the answers? So the first one was, write in digits, 523,628 and 3 tenths. So that's going to be 523,000, comma, 628, point, 3 goes in that first place because that's the tenth spot in the decimals. All right, and in number two, we're estimating um, this 29.31 is kind of close to 30. 19.77 is kind of close to 20. So my estimate for number two is 50. All right, um, there'll be some practice problems at the end of the packet for you to try with these. And let me know if you have any questions.